hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here thanks for stopping by and please subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how i go from you know very basic to like a nigerian traditional bride like so if you like to see how i do that keep watching this video so i'm just going to be starting out by priming my skin and i'm using a pond's oil vanishing cream as my primer just gonna be applying that primer all over my face then next i'll be mixing my foundation i'm using a glam girls foundation in cinnamon and um, dark chocolate i'm just gonna be mixing a pump of both foundation on the back of my hand and then i'll use my finger to like mix it there and apply on my face So guys, after I'm done applying that foundation all over my face, I'm just going to reach for my damp beauty blender and I'll be blending that foundation all over my face. I'm just going to blend it until it really sits in well with my skin. So after I'm done applying my foundation all over my face, I'm going to be highlighting my face and I'm using my Early Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn. Just gonna apply that concealer all over the parts of my face which I highlight and I'm also going to reach for my LA Girl Pro Conceal in Cool Tan to also you know kind of make my highlights more bright I think <laughs> yeah to make it brighter so I'm just gonna just dab that cool tan shade on top of the fun shade then after I'm done doing that I'm gonna be reaching for my beauty blender sponge and I'm using the bottom of the beauty blender sponge now just to blend that concealer in just so that my the process is faster so I'm just blending up highlights all over my forehead my eye area then for my under eye area I'm just gonna turn it to the tip and then for my nose I'm using my fingers to blend the concealer there in then I'll just go with the blender on the sides then next I'll be using my Saka buttercup setting powder to set the highlighted parts of my face I'm just using my beauty blender sponge to apply that powder all over the highlighted parts of my face. So guys, after I'm done highlighting my face, I'm going to be reaching for my powder palette. And I'll be using that dark shade in that early pride powder palette to define the hollows of my cheeks. I'm just using that brush for... I don't really like the brush it's just kind of like flimsy <laughs> just gonna reach for another brush yeah I'm gonna reach for that brush just to define my cheekbone area well then I'm going to go over to the medium shade in that palette just to set the foundation which I applied on my forehead area well, I call it my forehead or my hairline yeah close to my hairline just set that foundation there and I also use that same shade too and I reached out for my bigger powder brush to set the foundation I applied all over the other parts of my face and my neck area my chin you know just blend 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 just to make sure everything is well set then I'm also going to just clean out that contour which I applied on my cheekbone then next I'll be defining the sides of my nose and I'm using um, the same medium shade which I used as my all over face powder to define the sides of my nose using that slanted blending brush. So guys next I'm just going to quickly fill in my brows just brush my brows and fill it in as quickly as possible like <laughs> I have an eyebrow tutorial so if you like to see how I draw my brows then please check out my tutorial on how I define my brows so I'm just gonna be cleaning out my brows with my concealer and it's, the concealer I'm using is the same one which I used in highlighting my face which is the early girl pro concealer in fauna After I'm done like defining like the shape of my brows, I'm gonna reach for 
a blending brush just to blend that concealer which I used in defining my brows. I'll just tuck in the ends of my brows and that's it so next I'll be using that my beauty treat blush palette I'm using that blush shade which I showed you as my transition color I'm just gonna be blending that blush all over my eye my crease area and I'm using that fluffy blending brush to do that then next I'll be using my classic eyeshadow primer And I'll be applying it all over my eyelid area. Then next, I'll be using the eyeshadow right there. So I'm just applying that eyeshadow all over my eyelids where I applied that eyeshadow primer. And I'm also just gonna I'm just gonna carefully, you know, extend that eyeshadow a bit towards my crease area just so that it doesn't look, you know patchy just just blending it a bit towards my crease using that big eyeshadow brush So next, I'm just going to go back to that same blending brush which I used in applying that transition color all over my crease area just to blend and ensure everything looks nice. And I'll just reapply that same um, shimmy shade I applied on my lids. So now, I'm going to be using that shade I showed you now just to further deepen my crease area. Then I'll be, I'll, I'll be lining my eyes. <laughs> I'll be applying my liquid eyeliner my eyelids guys I just discovered this eyeliner like I bought it in um, Balogo market for Balogo market is actually in Lagos Nigeria I bought it in Balogo market for 400 naira and this eyeliner is everything like initially I used to use the Zarodon liquid eyeliner but then I find it this one even like it's easier for me like it's I prefer to the Zaron liquid eyeliner though I think the Zara the only difference is just that the Zaron liquid eyeliner is um, I think more pigmented than this one is but then this one is easier to work with and it's cheaper I got it for 400 naira meanwhile the Zaron liquid eyeliner goes for about 2000 naira so if you are someone like me that probably applies makeup too much then this will save you a lot of coins so next I'm using my Marbrook liquid eyeliner to line my waterline and um, I'm also going to be doing this tight lining thing like lining my upper eyes if you get what I mean by that <laughs> just applying the Marbrook liner on my eyelids then I just popped on my lashes sometimes in the process of applying your false lashes you may clean out your liner so you just have to go back and reapply your eyeliner then next, I'm just going to be applying that same shade which I applied on my crease area to my bottom lash line and I'm using that shader brush just to smoke that shade down there. Then next, I'll be applying my mascara and I'm using the Mika K mascara just to apply that mascara to my lashes, my upper lashes and my bottom lashes. So next, I'm going to be using that medium shade in that palette just to dust off the setting part that I still on my face just to blend everything out just to really dust off the part of my under eye area I'm going to be reaching for that small like a foundation brush here I'm using that foundation brush just to dust off the powder from my under eye area So guys, next I'm just going to be applying my blush and the blush I'm using is the same shade which I used as my, the same blush which I used as my transition color. That's what I'm using on my cheeks too. The next I'll be highlighting my face and I'm using that LDM highlighter to highlight my cheekbones. I'm also highlighting my cupid's bow the tip of my nose 
and along the bridge of my nose a bit. I'm also going to be highlighting my brow bone area. I'm just going to be highlighting just the highest points right there and my cupid's bow and uh, my tear dot area. I'm just going to apply the highlights of my tear dots and my lower lids just like the beginning part of my bottom eyelids. Then next I'm applying my lipstick and what I'm using is the black opal liquid lipstick. Abby, lip. <laughs> I don't even know what it's called man. I, I just saw it in the market and I like the fact that it was really pigmented and I bought it. So next I'm lining my lips and I'm using the Zaron liquid lip liner. The Zaron lip liner. The, the product which I use for this video is going to be in the description box. So just go check it out if you are interested. So now I'm done lining my lips and I really don't like the way the color of the lipstick came out. So I went back in with my Maybelline lipstick. I think that's the touchable top lipstick. I just applied it to the center of my lips. Then I also went back to one other um, lipstick because I really didn't like the way it looked. So then I also went back to my classic eyeshadow primer and I just applied it on the center of my lips and then blended it in and then I went back to my Zaron lip liner just to you know define the lips well. Then I'm just re-highlighting my nose. So guys, I'm basically done with this tutorial. I'm just gonna try, you know, wear my accessories, <laughs> put on my wig. Well, I really don't know how Nigerian brides do it, like wearing that um, traditional cap on their head and even dancing with it. Like I'm just like I'm actually like in ju at just one place, and it wasn't even comfortable for me to even wear it. Like brides, they really try. They really, really try. I must say. Let me put the cap on my head and see if the cap would even stay. <laughs> but yeah, it does. It does stay. So guys, that's basically it for this tutorial. Thanks so much for watching this video. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. But until then, just look. Just see just the transformation. Before and after. I love you for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video.